And I am going to do, oh wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Where is it? Share. So I'm gonna share this, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so what we're gonna do, you guys, is we're gonna go through your getting your business started right stuff, okay? So let me make sure everyone's muted real quick. So guys, if you're on, just make sure you're muted. Okay, so. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Meg Koslowski. I am kind of the mama bear of this team, and our team got started back in 2009. Okay, so that's a really long time ago, you guys. And I came in solely just for the discount. Um, my coach got me hooked on psychology, and I was going to school for my master's in public health and nutrition. I did not ever think that I was gonna turn into a beach body coach, I'll be honest. I never thought I was gonna be a beach body coach. But um, I loved Beachbody products. I loved what it did for me. I loved the fact that I was losing weight and uh, feeling good and not having to work out for hours upon hours. And I loved the community of the women that I was around. And so I decided to become a coach. And I kind of sat on it for two years, which I hope you guys don't do that. Now, if you have been a coach for a while and you're just now starting your business, I want you to know from my story that you can start your business at any point, but you have to say, I'm going to jump in with both feet first. I'm not going to do like a toe dipping type thing, right? Like I'm going to actually treat this like a business because if you guys have heard that quote, um, if you treat it like a hobby, it's going to pay like a hobby. If you treat it like a business, it's going to pay like a business. So if you're wanting to just make a little bit of extra money, you can treat it like a hobby and that's fine. It's your decision. But if you're someone who wants to turn it into a business and be able to quit your full-time job or bring your spouse home or pay off debt or whatever it is that you want to do, um, like I've been able to, to do and a lot of coaches on our team, then you have to go both feet in. Okay. So we're going to launch your business tonight. The first things first, and let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see all of this. Can you zoom out? There we go. Okay. So first things first, you guys, I want to take the stress off of you. Okay. The most important part of this entire thing is that you're focusing on your own health and fitness journey. I have never seen a coach succeed that was not using the products and doing the workouts. Yes, you can do other workouts, okay? You don't have to just do beach body workouts. There's coaches who do soul cycle. There, there's coaches that have a Peloton. I have one in their basement, and so they like to spin. Um, there's coaches who do CrossFit. There's coaches who like teach other types of classes. You're not stuck to just being a beach body coach and just doing those workouts, but you do have to do the workouts, okay? You have to be doing them at some point, okay? You also have to be using the supplements. So you don't have to use all of the supplements, but find the supplements that fit you and your goals, okay? Uh, so your main focus is to get to know the products, okay? This is when it gets hard because I can't see people. Hang on one second, guys. I hear someone who's unmuted. Why can't I see it? Oh. All right, guys. I can't see who's unmuted. If you can just make sure you're muted. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Wait, I think I found it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so get to know the products, okay? Fall in love with them. I don't expect you to do every single Beachbody product, right? But you do need to know what we have available. You need to know that we have a yoga studio. You need to know that we have um, a Pio Pilates workout. You need to know that we have a four day a week program called Lift Four. You need to know that, um, like what Shakeology, you don't have to know all the ingredients, but what's the basis of Shakeology? It's not a protein drink, okay? It's not a protein drink. A lot of people try to say it's a glorified protein drink. No, it's not, you guys. It's a meal replacement shake, and it's full of antioxidants and full of uh, superfoods and prebiotics and probiotics and all this kind of jazz, okay? So make sure you know that stuff because I was that person that was like, I'm not drinking this, right? Like, I'm not drinking a protein drink. I was so wrong, you guys. And like 10 years later after doing that education, I drink it every single day, okay? So get to know the products. Love the products, okay? So if you're doing the workouts, you're following either Tubi Mindset or the Ultimate Portion Fix containers, okay? And you're actually following the nutrition plan, you're going to see results, okay? If you're using the supplements, you're going to see results. You're gonna fall in love with the products. If you're skipping that number two, 
you're never going to be able to help other people on their journey. Okay. You have to fall in love with the products in order to help people on their journey. And by falling in love with it, it's going to prevent you from ever having to push products on people or become salesy, right? Which none of us want to be, right? So love the products because when you love something, you like to tell other people about it, right? Number three, tell people about the products and the lifestyle. So if you are naturally doing the nutrition plan and doing the workouts and sharing about it on social media every single day, people are going to ask you about it because they're going to see changes in your body, not just weight loss because some of us don't have weight to lose, right? But they're going to see maybe more tone. Maybe they're going to see that you have more energy. Maybe they're going to see that your skin is brighter, okay? There's going to be different things that happen to you that they're going to be able to tell, okay? Number four, help people change their lives with the products. Number five, tell those people about the products and how they can become a coach too, okay? So if you focus on just those five steps, you guys, you would grow your business, okay? You would naturally grow it, okay? So those five steps, don't overcomplicate it. All right, now use your resources. So I normally like pull up the coach online office, but I'm not gonna do that tonight, okay? So you guys, after this, you can go to teambeachbody.com and just kind of play around in your office. It's going to make you sign in and then you're going to have to click on your coach. Video, by the way. coach office. Is on video. Um, it says coach office and then you'll click around in there. Okay. Make sure you set up your EFT plan. Um, click around and see where it says like social or, uh, success club where it says notifications. Just Look around in your office, get comfortable with it because there's a lot of really cool resources, okay? But when you are trying to find an answer, you guys, go to your office, okay, and look around. Now, you can also go to the team page, so you can go in the new and improved important team for the addicted group, hopefully you're all in there, and you can click around and you can ask people questions, um, or you can ask your coach, but before that, go through these steps, okay, so your team page, your coachfaq.com, if you're looking for, you know, does Shakeology have way in it, okay, and you go to coachfaq.com and type in Shakeology ingredients, you're going to pull it up and you're going to see, oh, they have a vegan formula that doesn't have whey in it, and then the regular does have whey in it. Okay, so you're going to have all of those resources right there. Um, and then the last thing is just YouTube and Google. Anytime I have a question, okay, because even 10 years in, I still have questions. I don't know all the answers. And I'll go in and I'll Google it immediately. And within seconds, you guys, I will find the answer. How much, you know, what, what is an Emerald Beach Body Coach? Google it you're gonna see all these resources pop up. Or how do I become an Emerald Beachbody coach? You're gonna go on YouTube, type that in. How do I become a Beachbody Emerald co or an Emerald Beachbody coach? You're gonna find all of these resources that you can go to, okay? What I do suggest is because Beachbody's been around for 12 plus years, look for the most recent resources, okay? So if you're looking at YouTube and you're looking for a training on Instagram, look for one that's like three to four months. Um, from when you know you're at right now don't don't watch one that's like a year or two or three years down okay because things change really really fast okay national wake-up calls are Monday at 11 a.m. EST that's the call that you get every single um, week from top coaches in the network okay so they grab the top coaches in the network people who are crushing it and they come on and they give their top tips People who don't listen to the National Wake Up Call, I'm like, what are you doing? You're literally getting free tips from the top coaches in the network, okay? So make it a point to do that. You can listen live, okay? So you can go to the Team Beachbody 411 page. If you guys look in our coach or our new coach group, um, the cover photo, I have like the daily or the weekly agenda. One of the things is the National Wake Up Call every single week, okay? So it tells you how to get on that. If you can't get on live, you can listen to the recording, okay? I rarely can get on live, you guys, because that's the time where I'm, like, working my business and I have my babysitter. So I'm like, okay, I can listen to a call or I could actually get some work done, okay? Like, I could actually do the actions that I need to get done. You can listen to the National Wake Up Call while you're folding laundry, while you're driving to work, while you're getting ready in the morning. Like, when you're doing something else, you can be listening to it. Um, so I would suggest, if you're not able to get on live, make sure that you have it on your to-do list to listen to it, but do it while you're doing something else so you're able to get two things done at once, okay? The other thing is a new coach mentorship call. So this group is two weeks long, like super fast, okay? Two weeks long, two weeks that you're supposed to focus in, okay? This call is the first call. So week one, this is our Tuesday call. 
and it says 8.30, but it's 8.15, I need to change that. <laughs> but next week at 8.15, we're gonna do a rapid fire to Emerald, okay? So it's just a 30 minute or less call next Tuesday at 8.15 p.m. EST, okay? So you're gonna be able to hop on that call next Tuesday. Our goal is that this first week we're helping you guys get kind of your footing down, and then next week you're able to push towards Emerald because you do not need to have all the answers to hit your first rank in this business, you guys. You just have to go for it, okay? Um, so those are the two calls that I would suggest focusing on right now, okay? Now let's go through the four vital behaviors. The first one, and this kind of goes back to the first slide I shared with you guys, be proof the products work. Do your workout and drink your shake. It really is that simple, and I, would, I should put the nutrition part of that too, and stick to the nutrition plan. Because if you're doing that, you're going to be seeing results, and results are, what are going, what's going to grow your business, okay? Number two, share, connect, invite, follow up. Okay, that might seem like a mouthful. We are gonna teach you about that in the new coach group. So I think Brittany had a post that went up today that talked about some of those steps, okay? So if you are not focusing in on those posts in the new coach group, make sure that you put it on your to-do list Monday through Friday to go in there and just read through the posts and watch the videos because th these are like the tools that you need to learn as a brand new coach in order to take your business to the next level, okay? So we're teaching you how to do these things. So sharing your journey on social media, starting conversations, inviting people to um, join your next group. Okay, the third thing is personal development. Do not skip this. This is the one that I see a lot of coaches skip where they're like, okay, I'll do one, two, and four. And then they get really frustrated and overwhelmed within the first couple weeks of coaching, which if you felt that, you guys, you're not alone. Okay, that's a normal feeling to have. But personal development is what actually saves you from going insane and quitting, okay? Because every single person is gonna have a tough time in their business at some point or other, okay? I'm going to give you that at the beginning of your business. You're going to have some tough times, okay? You're building a business. It's not supposed to be easy. We grow through the hard times, okay? That personal development is what's gonna save you from, like I said, going insane and wanting to quit. So, books that I would suggest reading. The Compound Effect, okay? The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, one of my favorite books of all time, okay? Either that one or Sorry, my eyes hurt. Get over your D-A-M-N. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> D-A-M-N, because I don't know if there's kids around here. Self, okay? So get over your D-A-M-N self by Romy. Do you know who it It starts with like an N. Okay, like R-O-M-I-N. Like her last name is N. So if you type in get over your D-A-M-N self, you're going to see that book pop up, okay? Those are my two books that I would suggest you guys listen to or read first off. Now, if you are a busy person and you have no time to sit down and read a book, that was my excuse. I said, I have a really busy schedule. Now I have little ones and I never have time to open up a book. Get the app Audible, okay? So get the app Audible, it's attached to Amazon, and you can listen to your books while you're getting ready in the morning, while you're making breakfast, while you're doing dishes, while you're driving to work. It doesn't use up your data, okay? So if you're using Audible and you're listening to it on the way to work, it's not gonna use your data, okay? You'll be able to listen to it um, to and from work and get through that book pretty quickly, okay? Number four is get people results, okay? So as a good coach, you're going to help people get set up with their workout plan and psychology and whatever, but then you're actually gonna help them get results, right? We're not gonna sign up people and be like, hi, thank you for buying from me, I'll see you later. You're gonna actually stick with them and say, okay, I'm gonna check in on you, not every single day, because that's too much, but I'm gonna check in on you once a week, and you can reach out to me at any time you need me, right? But once a week, I'm gonna check in and make sure that everything's going okay, and you're making sure that you're checking in on them in their challenge group and commenting and liking on their posts and helping them feel supported. Okay, so help them get results and feel supported. Okay, so our first goal as a coach is to help three people get started with a, a program and Shakeology, which is a challenge pack. Probably I see there's nine people on here. Majority of you got started like that. Okay, you signed up with a challenge pack. So look at what your coach said to you. Okay, look at what they said to you when they were talking to you about joining as a challenger. Look at what they said to you when they talked to you about coaching, okay? Because the people that you're attracting, 
they're going to be just like you, right? So don't overthink the wording. Don't think that you have to recreate the wheel. Look at what your coach talked to you about. What resources did they give you? How did they say things? Take it, tweak it, make it your own, give it to them, okay? And invite people that way. Okay. And like I said, you never have to recreate the wheel. So use the resources that your coach used to talk to you about stuff. Um, and start with your friends and your family to, to talk to them about becoming a challenger or coach. Now, if you don't have, and I just talked to some other people about this, but if you don't have a strong family, um, and friend group that want to join as a challenger or coach, that was me guys. I had my mom and my dad. That was it. My sisters would not sign up with me. My best friends would not sign up with me. So I had to start on my cold market a lot faster. We will talk about in the new coach group how to grow your cold market. Okay, so make sure you're looking for our posts. But you do not want to skip that step, okay, because you're going to be focusing on your cold market versus growing with your family. But if you can, focus on your friends and your family, okay? And Achieving Success Club, your first three months in a row, gives you a free ticket to Summit. And earning it all year um, long, you can earn our success club trip, okay? But here's the thing, guys. Selling three challenge packs, so right up here, the three challenge packs, that is how you hit success club, okay? You're going to hear all these terms, like success club and success starter. Those are interchangeable, okay? It just means that you're helping three people get started with a challenge pack. All right, so step one, we're going to talk about committing to a boot camp. Boot camp is a challenge group. Okay, those words are interchangeable too. So boot camp, um, virtual fitness group, challenge group, those are all the same thing. Okay, it's just different ways of wording what you're doing. Do whatever you want. I call mine a virtual fitness group. Um, I think some other coaches call it a virtual fit uh, boot camp. Other people call it a challenge group, whatever you want to call it. Okay, but you can either host your own, team up with another coach in our new coach group, or that's on your team, um, or you can add yours into your team group, okay? So I know Britt and Abby and Allison all run challenge groups. Um, make sure that you reach out to your upline who signed you up and see if they have a group that you can start adding people into. What I do for my new coaches, and I know a lot of coaches in our team do the same thing, is that with their brand new coaches, they say that, the I, do, the I do, we do, you do. So basically it means your first couple months while you're getting comfortable, you add people into their group, I will run the group, okay? Or your coach will run the group. That way you can still be their, their coach. You're still checking in on them weekly, but you don't have to set up the big group. You don't have to come up with the posts every single day, but you're gonna be you know, a part of that bigger community. Once you get comfortable, you can ask your coach if you can start doing a post in there once a week or a couple times a week. So you take that load off your coach a little bit and you step up as one of those leading coaches in the challenge group. And then once you get comfortable there, then you can branch off and do your own group once you have, you know, five, six, 10, 20 challengers, whatever you want um, to be able to do your own group. Okay, so it's totally up to you. Make sure you reach out to your upline about that, but you want a start date. Okay, so reach out to your upline and say, okay, when is the next boot camp starting or challenge group starting? That way they can help you start inviting to it. Let's talk about our first invites, you guys. So the first in invites, you want to become a conversation starter. Okay, so your goal is to connect with three new people a day or 20 new people a week. That's really not that many people. If you go onto your Facebook and you look, even if you have 50 friends on Facebook, that's 50 people that you can invite, right? Um, so three people a day, that's nothing, okay? That is nothing. Uh, so get those invites out, you guys, and I'll have a template of what to say at the end of this, so don't worry. But uh, three people every single day that you're gonna invite. You're not reaching out to close them. So what I mean by that is that by reaching out to the first person, they're not gonna say yes right away, okay? When you're making a big decision, which changing your life with health and fitness is a pretty big decision, okay? If someone signs up right away, they didn't think it thoroughly through, okay? So when someone says like, oh, it's not the right time, or I need to think through it, it's not something against you, okay? It's not that you're failing. It's that it's not the right time for them, okay? Or they need more information, okay? So you're not reaching out to close them, you're reaching out to open the door, or what I like to say is planting a seed. 
Now be brief, be excited, and end every message with a call to action. Okay, so CTA is call to action. So what that means is with a question, okay? Um, find their needs and fix their problem. Okay, so you ask a lot of questions um, to be able to get to know them, okay? So if you look at the templates that we share with you guys, as well as maybe the way that your, your coach talked to you, is that they asked you questions up front. They asked about whether you were looking for, you know, a fitness program that helped you lose weight or it helped you tone up, if there was a certain kind of program that you liked. Um, they wanted to know about your nutrition. They wanted to know about what kind of supplements you would need. So they're asking you questions to try to be able to help you create the kind of challenge pack that you need. Okay. Now, as a brand new coach, that might feel really overwhelming. Ask your coach to help you. Okay. If you have someone respond back and you're like, I don't know what to say back to this person. Your coach is there to help you, okay? So don't ever, ever be afraid to ask your coach or even me or Allison or Britt or Abby um, how to respond back to someone, okay? Because that's what we're here to do is to help you guys. Um, recognize and welcome objections as part of the process. If you have people saying, like coming up with objections, whether it's a price objection, whether it's a time objection, those are like the top two that you usually get, be okay with that, okay? It's going to happen. Think about when you started this journey with me. When I first heard about coaching, I was like, I don't have time for that. I do not have time to become a beach body coach, right? Because I thought that it took, to, took a million hours in a day um, to be able to grow the business when really it doesn't. And so what, I, what my coach did with me is she broke that down. Instead of her freaking out and being like, oh my God, Meg's not going to sign up. She has no time, right? She came back to me and said, hey, Meg, you know what? I thought the same thing and I built this business when I was working a 70 hour a day or not a day but it's my 70 hour a week business and this is how I fit it into my day and so instead of her freaking out she broke it down for me so I was able to say oh wow she was really business and she's been a really successful business I can do that too okay so welcome their objections slow down listen to them and you know relate to them the next thing is using scripts, okay? So um, I don't think we have them in the files of our new coach group, which we need to add, but reach out to your upline, okay? We all say things a little differently. We need to probably add that in. Um, some files about coaching so that you guys can figure out how to talk to people about challenge groups and coaching. But um, when in doubt, reach out. Okay, so when in doubt, reach out to one of us and we'll help you, okay? Follow up forever. So you, as you're sending this stuff out, you guys, I always say out of 10 people you talk to, one's going to say yes. Now, as a brand new coach, it might be more like 15, okay? Out of 15 people you talk to, one is going to say yes because you're getting people to trust you, okay? And this is brand new to them. It's brand new to you. But those people that say no to you now, it doesn't mean forever, you guys. It doesn't mean, oh, I'm never going to be interested. It means that it's not a priority for them or the timing is not right for them right now. Some of my best coaches are people who said no to me initially, and then a couple months later or a year later, they come back and they're like, okay, you know what? This is something that I want to check out. And then they sign up and they end up doing really well. Okay, so remember that it's, when people say no, it's not you. It's just that they're not ready. Okay. Um, so I have examples, like I said, of what to, to say at the end of this, so do not hop off, okay? Um, don't be afraid to ask, um, to talk to people about the cost. That's something that I see a lot of new coaches kind of shy away from, because they're like, what's well, $160, right? Like, you kind of like shy away, like, oh, I don't want to like talk to them about a challenge bag because it's so much money. Please change that mindset, you guys. $160 to get a year worth of workouts. A year worth of workouts, you guys, and they're continuing to add stuff to Beachbody On Demand, um, even without them doing the VIP, okay? So even with the new releases, if they don't do VIP, in three months, it's going to roll out of the bod anyways, okay? Mm -hmm. So amazing, amazing value, as well as the nutrition plans that they have access to. Every single workout plan has a nutrition plan, as well as the supplements for 30 days. So to be able to do that for $160, on top of having you, Okay, so don't undervalue yourself. And I think the coach part of it is like the most valuable, valuable part of the puzzle because how many times have people signed up for a diet plan or they've signed up for a gym membership and they end up not sticking it out because they don't have anyone that's checking in on them. Okay, so you are a key piece of that puzzle. Uh, so don't be afraid to talk to them about the cost. Don't send a link right away. Okay, so when we're talking to people, like I said in this, this um, 
slide, you're asking questions, you're getting to know them. And once you know what they truly need, then you can create a share cart and send them a link, okay? That is the last step that you would do for someone, okay? So do not send a link right away. And then don't show up and throw up. So what I mean by that, it goes back to just asking people's question, people questions, okay? Um, so Coach Karma. This is something really important as a brand new coach to remember. Coach Karma is basically where you were in your life before you became a coach. I'll be honest, I had horrible coach karma. I was a very selfish person before I signed up as a coach. I was, you know, a college student. I was very focused on myself. And not saying that you're a selfish person, but it just means that some of us start out already that go-to person for health and fitness, and people have been watching us for a while, or maybe you've already had, uh, have been sharing a little bit about your transformation on Beachbody, so people have been watching that, or you're that person that's already, like, you know, the person that people go to for help and advice, not just on health and fitness, but anything, okay? And they trust you. You might see your business grow a little faster at the beginning. Others, it might take a little bit longer. With mine, it took a little bit longer, okay? There is no right or wrong way. You guys do not compare your beginning um, to someone else's because as long as you stick with it and you continue to do the actions that we're going to teach you guys to do, hopefully you all printed the Success Club System Tracker and you're using it, but I think I see some people holding it up, um, but as long as you're doing that, you guys, you're not going to fail, okay? The coaches who fail are the people who give up, and if you never give up on this and you continue to tr do the steps that you need to do every single day, you are going to, you are going to succeed. Okay, so our first goal was Success Club. Okay, so first goal was Success Club and helping three people get started with a challenge pack. The second goal is Emerald Coach. Okay, so if you notice, we have Coach, Active Coach, Emerald Coach, um, and then Ruby and Diamond. Don't focus on Ruby and Diamond quite yet. 99.9, .9, if not all of you guys, are Active Coaches right now. Okay, so Emerald Coach is literally two coaches underneath you guys. That's the first rank. Okay, an emerald is not a hard thing, you guys. It's so easy to do. It's all about mindset. So if you're telling yourself, okay, I can do this. I can totally do this. I can sign up two people and we'll talk about how in a second. I can totally do this. I'm going to do it in seven days. I'm going to set that goal for myself and I'm going to sign up two people in seven days, right? You're going to do it, okay, because you're determined and you're focused on it. You have the right mindset. But if you're looking at this and you're like, I don't know what to sign up, oh my God, I don't know what to do, you're not going to do it, right? And you're going to make this a bigger deal than it has to be. I made it a huge deal. I lived with my parents, you guys. So take yourself back to brand new baby coach Meg. I lived with my parents, okay? And I was looking for these like dream coaches who were going to grow the business with me and, you know, really want to take off. And I was like, my parents aren't going to be coaches, right? So I didn't ask them. And then my upline, seven months into it, came to me and talked to me about what I'm going to share with you guys. And I was like, seriously? I could have walked downstairs and said, hey, mom, dad, you guys are going to be beach body coaches. And they would have signed up and they would have, you know, had their Shakeology and I have older parents, hopefully they don't watch this, and like, you call me old Meg, but you know, I have older parents and they're still drinking Shakeology and it's been 10 years, okay? And I think they're pretty freaking healthy. So, hey, Allison's laughing at me. But, so we're gonna go for it, you guys. I know there's people on this call who are go-getters and they wanna see this business grow. This is your first step, is hitting Emerald, okay? So next Tuesday, and you can do it before then, but next Tuesday at 8.15 p.m. EST, we will be doing a rapid fire to Emerald call, okay? So if you don't hit it by then, we're gonna get you there by next Thursday, okay? So sharing your journey on social media. It's not all about, you know, pushing products on people. It's not that at all, okay? It's sharing who you are. So if you look at, Allison's actually right next to me, that's, they, they, they came in from Green Bay, so this is not the norm, you guys. But if you look at Allison's journey versus my journey versus Brittany Wright's journey versus Abby's journey um, versus your upline's journey versus your journey, it's all different, okay? But the one thing that brings all of us together is that we have good hearts, we want to help people, right? And we're on our health and fitness journey, and we love Beachbody, okay? So those are the things that keep us, like, connected. But... The things that make us stand out from one coach to the next is sticking true to who you are. So if you don't have children, 
don't talk about being a mom, right? If you have children, talk about it, okay? Or however you feel comfortable. If you're pregnant, share it. So for instance, in these pictures, you'll see, you know, if someone comes onto my page, they would see that I was pregnant, now I have him, okay? So now, now he's eight weeks old, so now I'm a new mom. Um, but I was pregnant, I had a three-year-old daughter, I'm a mom um, of a fur baby, I like to work out, I like Disney, um, you see my husband in there, and so forth. Okay, so you're gonna see that stuff about me. If you move to Allison, she just had explant surgery. Okay, so she had her breast implants taken out. So that's a big part of her journey, is sharing that with other people, the breast implant illness, right? Is that what it's called? Okay, breast implant illness. And so that's a big part of who she's talking to. She's also um, a newlywed, I still consider them a newlywed. They're wanting to move to Colorado. They're paying off debt. And I know about that kind of stuff because she talks about it on her page, okay? And then you move to Britt. Britt has four children. Okay, so she has four children. She's managing mom life versus building, you know, a very successful beach body business and how she's able to fit that in. Okay. So you're going to be looking at the three different of us, the three of us, very different journeys, very different um, backgrounds, but we're all building a business. Okay. So make sure that you're sharing who you are, um, every aspect of your life. Okay. So before you post something, ask yourself what you would want people to get from the post and if it would stop their scroll. So if you're about to post something like this picture with a 21 day fix, don't do it, okay? Because that is not how to get people interested in what you're doing, okay? So the power of consistency and patience. So this is back in 2014. Now you might see 48 likes, 24 comments, um, and think, wow, that was a pretty good post, Meg. It was all coaches on my team, you guys. It was all coaches who were supporting me or family members um, or my boyfriend, who's now my husband. It was not people who actually wanted information from me. So if you look at this post, you guys, the top one, this is what not to do. I have my link on there. I have the products. Like this screams salesy. We all have those co those friends on our team, not on our team, on our social media that are selling some kind of product and we like wish we could unfriend them, right? But you're like, oh, I'm going to see you at church tomorrow so I can't unfriend you, right? Can I just like maybe hide your post from my page because it screams sales. It's like products, 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 right? And you're like, I don't want your makeup. So don't do that to your friends, okay? Don't share, you know, those stock photos of beach body stuff. If you look at this post below, the reason this this was scroll stopping was because it's about my journey. Okay, so my fam or my followers had been following the fact that I was trying to get pregnant. And so now that I was pregnant, I was sharing a story. I was personalizing it. I was making it eye-catching. I'm not saying you have to post a bikini picture, okay? But I was showing my bump. Um, I was telling a little bit about the story and focusing on inspiring people and sharing emojis. Okay, that's a big part of it too. Putting emojis in my actual post. And that got, you know, 983 likes, 49 comments. That's not my norm. If you go to my page, you're gonna see I have posts that do really well, and then I have posts that get like zero likes, okay? That's just the way that social media is right now, so don't get so tied to the likes and comments, guys. But as long as you're personalizing it, you're focusing on an eye-catching, light and bright picture, you're sharing a journey um, story, and you're inspiring people, like you're trying to give them value, then you're doing it right, okay? And we don't expect you to be perfect um, at the beginning. I mean, I'm still not perfect, but you're gonna learn as you go, okay? So just try, don't be afraid to try. So what would you do with an extra $800? So if you look at this, you guys, you have a new customer commission, okay? So this is back to goal number one, which is Success Club. You get $50 commission, okay? off of a challenge pack. That's like the one of the middle ones, I think. Okay, so we get 25% commission on anything we sell. Okay, so say we sell three challenge packs. So $50 times three, you're gonna get $150 right there. Okay, which is a nice nice little um, cash in your, in your wallet, right? I think our spouses or ourselves, we'd be pretty happy with $150 at the beginning, right? Month two, because we're being good coaches. And guys, if someone stops drinking Shakeology, you are not a horrible coach, okay? You're gonna have that happen where people stop drinking Shakeology or they stop drinking the performance line or they return it. It has nothing to do with you, okay? Please do not beat yourself up. It happens to all of us. But our goal is to help people stay on their journey, okay? So say in this scenario that we kept those three people from month one, okay? And so when they go through, you'll see the $32 down there. Okay, so those are our retained customers, the three customers that stay on. 
out of the retained customers because they stay on Shakeology or the performance line, you get $96, okay? Now our goal is to help another three people this second month. If we help those three new people the second month, it's $150. You add those together, it's $246. We do the same thing in month three. So we keep those six customers from month one and month two, and then we bring on three more. Total, $396. So over three months, you make almost $800. That's nine people in three months, you guys. I'm not telling you you have to go sign 30, 40, 50 people your first couple months as a coach to start seeing success, okay? Let's start consistently helping three to five people, keeping them on their journey, and you're gonna see your paycheck increase, okay? All right, so what's next, you guys? The first thing, and this is July, man, I gotta update this, um, but we're in our August 5th group, okay? So you're going to be in the new coach university, so the, the two-week new coach university, okay? Commit to it, you guys. It's only two weeks. It's only two weeks, so put it on your to-do list that you're gonna check in every single day. So every single day you're gonna check in and make sure that you're reading through those posts and doing what's on there, okay? The next is starting with the book. So either the compound effect or um, get over your damn self. Okay, oh, I said it. D-A-M-N, -E I'm sorry if there's no kids. Holy moly. Um, the third thing, you guys, begin sharing your journey. Okay, so don't overcomplicate it, you guys. We don't care if you put up a post and the wording is all wrong. Okay, what we care about is that you're trying. Okay, you're trying and you're putting it out there and you're gonna learn as you go. If you looked at my post back in 2010, they were really bad, like even worse than the 2014 one, okay? They were really bad. Now, I think I've gotten pretty good on social media, but I'll still have a bad post every once in a while, okay? Give yourself grace, you guys. So begin just sharing you, and as long as you're staying true to who you are, that's all that matters. Number four, don't get overwhelmed, okay? This business can be a lot. There's a lot of information. When you start feeling overwhelmed, go back, and I, it's gonna let me scroll. Okay, go back to number one through five. Get to know the products, love the products, tell people about the products, help people change their lives, invite them to coach. That's how simple it is, you guys. Too many people overcomplicate this business. Keep it super duper duper simple. Okay, now is it gonna let me go back? Okay, so the next thing, you guys, is what to do by tomorrow night. So in the new coach mentorship group, the August 5th new coach mentorship group, I'm going to, before you guys all hop off, I'm gonna screenshot a picture of all of us, okay? And I'm gonna put it in that new coach group and I'm gonna say, comment below this post with the um, invites that you do, okay? The names of the people that you invite, okay? So as you're inviting people with these scripts, okay? So have these scripts, as you're inviting them, Okay, put it below that picture in the group. Abby, Brittany, um, and Allison and I are gonna look through that thread as you're posting it, and we will help you, okay? So as people are responding back to you and you're like, well, I don't know what to say back to them, tag one of us. We will help you, okay? Because that's what this team is about, okay? We don't expect you to know how to talk to people from the beginning. We will help you, we will teach you, okay? So those are the two scripts that I would suggest starting out with. Okay, your dirt list, I didn't even cover that. Your dirt list are your family members, your friends, your coworkers that love you, okay? People who would literally eat dirt for you. That's what the dirt list means, okay? So create that list of 15 people, reach out to them by tomorrow night, comment below that post that I put in the new coach group, let us help you, okay? Like I said before at the beginning, these are your two goals, you guys, going for Emerald and hitting Success Club. And if you stick with us, and you look at the stuff that we put up in the new coach mentorship group and you apply it and you're coachable, I have no doubt that you this first month are going to get at least your first customer, okay, and to hit Emerald, okay? So you're at least gonna get your first, I would love you to help your three customers as well as hit Emerald, but let's start it a little slower. You're gonna have your first customer and hit Emerald, okay? All right, guys, don't hop off. I'm gonna unshare my screen because I see 10 people are on right now. And I know some of you guys are hiding yourself. And we are going to do a picture real quick, okay? So, get ready, guys. And I'm gonna put it in that new coach group, all right? Yes? All right, guys. One, wait, which button do I press, this one? 
I don't remember. <laughs> One, you guys ready? One, two, three. All right, guys, thank you so much for having on. If you're staying on for the team group, sorry, this is like my fourth call in a row, so I'm like brain dead. Um, if you're staying on for our team group, I think everyone's going to be hopping on. I see Jamie on, I see Jennifer, I see a couple other people. So stay tuned. I'm going to mute myself for a second. I need to drink some water. Um, and then we're going to get going. Okay, so 9 p.m. is the team group. Our team call. Oh my God, Elson. <laughs> All right, guys.